So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a basic title block in AutoCAD. As you can see right here I have an almost completed title block and this is what we'll be making. So we'll go to our new button, start a new page, all right now once you're here you're going to place a line so position the first point at 0, 0 over 0.75 inches All right. so from here you're going to go up 8 inches over 9.5 inches and then you're going to finish off the square Then once you've done that, go back and delete this line section right there. Alright, so from here, you have the basic outside edge of your title block. Now we're going to make part of the um, block with our information. So we're going to click line again. From this point here, we're going to go over one inch. And then down all the way to the bottom. All right. And from there, we will go do all of the, our other stuff. So as this is just the end result. So as you can see, we have all this information here. And up here, we have our basic title block area. So now once we're going to skip ahead. And let's say we've done all this. Um, when you get this actual title block, you can make all the dimensions yourself to however you prefer. So now you have your title block made and you want to annotate it. So when you do your initial title block you have to think what is going to be constant throughout each page in my project. So obviously this information here, just the initial settings for it, these are going to be constant but when you do your actual main title block, some of these might change, such as the sheet number or the scale. So, but obviously your name here, that's not going to change. So for now, we're going to, to put our name in here, since like I said, it won't change. I'm going to position it on that corner. Now the initial text is going to be pretty big, so we're going to change the text to 0 0.025 inches. Hit enter. All right, and from there, type in your name. All right, and then from here, extend this all the way to the end. Go back to your text and make it so that your name is centered. Exit that. And then offset this point by 0 0.025 inches. Or actually, could probably go more than that. Just to a point, just go to a point where you're comfortable. So we'll say 0 0.075. Okay, so that looks good. Although, actually, we'll go up 0 0.025. All right, so now it's pretty centered. Now you have your name there. Also, if anyone's going to review your drawing, it's probably going to be constant, too. And also, the date's also going to be project, also going to be constant. So we're going to go to our copy command, copy our name. Sorry. So copy our name. Then for our uh, s specific base point, we're going to click this corner again. So when we copy it, all we have to do is click the corner of the square that we want, and it will instantly be centered. So there we are. So enter in that information. Enter in the date. All 
All right, so that's going to be co constant throughout our whole uh, program. Now also you're going to need your main title block. So I think you, you guys are doing residential housing. So we'll just make our title say residential house. Again, you can make it whatever you want. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees, place it on this corner, and again, center it. And then offset from this corner. And for this one, it looks like 0.25 inches. All right. So your main title here will always be constant, along with your name, the person who reviewed your project, and also the date. Now, this little section right here is for the, I think, subsection of your project. So if you're doing a residential house, this could be the living room or the wiring plan or the wall layout, etc. So this is changing, so we don't need to add anything there right now. So this looks pretty good. Now to save this as our block, we're going to go to Insert. And you see the Create Block button here? You're going to click on the down arrow and click on Write Block. The difference between Create Block and Write Block, Write Block saves your block permanently, while Create Block only saves it as long as AutoCAD is open. So once you close AutoCAD, you can't find your block again, which could lead to a lot of problems. So once you have this right block window open, click on Select Objects, highlight your entire uh, block spacebar, then tell the computer where you want to save it. So we'll say Residential House then save it. Alright, so now it's com completely saved. And we'll open up a new AutoCAD again. And now we're actually going to use our new title block. So I'm just going to make just a basic shape. There we go. Alright, so now turn off your grid lines and go to Layout 1. So this would be how it would look if you, if you were in TSM 199 where you didn't have to use title blocks. So we'll make this viewport smaller, but we want title blocks in this, so we're going to click on Insert and then go to the Insert Block command then you'll have to find your block again. All right, now for you it might look something like this, but you want to click on this check mark right here so that it places the block at this point every time. And you remember how I offset the block by 0.75 inches from the XY coordinates? You'll see why I did that in just a second. So okay, see this space right here? that's 0.75 inches away from this edge here. Now you can change this depending on which AutoCAD you use. This is the format I use because if you have the educational ver version or the student version, a watermark appears here that says produced by Autodesk Educational Product. So you want to leave room for that. On the school computers, however, I don't think that watermark appears. So you could make this larger if you wish. But as you can see, we have our basic title block. And also a, another good reason for having it offset or go to the same place every time is so that it looks neat. And when you print off your housing plans, the title blocks don't vary by you know, very small but noticeable amounts. So once you've done that, go back to your viewport and extend it to whatever size you want. I'm just going to go full size of the title block. 
center it, get it how you like. Alright, so now that's done. Now we need to fill in the part of the title block that will change depending on what we draw. So, project number may or may not change. The scale might change, so it's up to you. The sheet number will definitely change. So we're going to go to annotate, multi-line text, sheet number. For your first initial sheet, go S1.0. And then for each new, so that would be for say like an overall view of the house. So if you change to the living room of the house, you'll do S2.0. All right, so center it on that corner. Make sure you find a good offset. So we'll do 0.15 inches. Extend it to the other side. And center it. All right. Now up here, in this section, you need to put what subsection of the house you're viewing. And again, we'll have to rotate it. So even though this looks nothing like it, we'll say this is the bathroom. And I'm going to go ahead and center it ahead of time. I think we're going to have to change it from 0.2 inches to 0.1 inches in size. That looks better. All right. Rotate it. 90 degrees and move it to this. Again, find a good offset point that you're comfortable with. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's say we'll try point one. All right. Extend that all the way. And there you are. You have a basic title block and you can enter in all other information as you require.